Hello guys. Alright, this is going to be my first um, political um, video for a while, okay? Now, this concerns Julian Assange, okay? Now, Julian Assange, if you don't know, is the founder of WikiLeaks and has been involved with WikiLeaks for quite some time. It is a website which exposes, which claims to expose the wrongdoing of governments and releases government secrets to the world, okay, against the laws of those countries, okay? Now, many people agree with what Julian Assange is doing. On the one hand, the governments claim that they act covertly and secretly to protect the nations they are responsible for, and Julian Assange says that they're using secrets to cover up wrongdoing and evil and, um, and incompetence. Okay. Uh, many people know what WikiLeaks is, and I'm sure if you don't know what WikiLeaks is, I'm sure you can easily find out. Okay. Um, WikiLeaks was believed to be responsible for Donald Trump being elected, as WikiLeaks released a lot of emails from um, Hillary Clinton's server and apparently released a lot of her emails, which made her look bad during the presidential election. Some could argue that if um, WikiLeaks had been totally fair, they would have been able to obtain things from Donald Trump's side as well, and maybe if people had known everything that Donald Trump had been up to, maybe he might not look so good either. I don't know. Okay? So that's why I said maybe. Now, what's this got to do with Britain? Well, Basically, Julian Assange is an Australian citizen, and this is where it's going to get a bit more complicated, okay? He went over to Sweden and basically had sex with a couple of his groupies, or fans if you like, okay? This is not denied by him, and it's not denied by the women. But apparently, um, he broke some laws in Sweden when he had sex with these women. Apparently. I say apparently, I'll rephrase it. It's not apparently, I'll replace that with allegedly. So I apologise, not apparently, it's allegedly. So he allegedly broke some laws in Sweden when he had sex with these women. How? Well, in Sweden they have um, a lot, what they consider rape is perhaps what's not considered rape in many other countries. So they have something what is called over here in some of the countries has been dubbed sex by surprise. Now, this is what allegedly happened, okay? Allegedly, um, he had sex with two women separately. Um, two of his fans, if you like. Um, in one case, the condom broke, uh, apparently, allegedly, and in the other case, um, he was supposedly seen having sex with her without a condom while she was asleep, after she had had sex with him with a condom when she was awake. Now, these are the issues. The woman who, ha who um, had sex, who he allegedly had sex with when she was asleep, claimed that she insisted he wear a condom, and he wasn't happy about it, but, she ha but he wore a condom when she was awake. But she claims, she claims that when he was asleep, uh, she was sleeping, he had sex with her without a condom, and she woke up to see, find him having sex with her without a condom. Um, with the case of the broken condom issue, the allegation is that he deliberately um, broke the condom on purpose or in some way damaged the condom in some way so while he was having sex with her the condom would deliberately break um, and his, you know, semen would go into her or something. I don't know. Okay, this is what, he was, alle what was alleged. And at the time, the two women both went to the police, but not to get him arrested for this. Originally, they wanted to, him to have a DNA test, I think, and some sort, I believe, I could be wrong on that, and also to have a test to determine if he got any sexual diseases, because they'd want to know if they were likely to contract any sexual diseases. Apparently, he didn't want to provide um, these, do these tests, so um, they went to the police to find out if they could make him have a test. The police then investigated this more and found out that it might be a crime, these might be crimes, a, a court and, you know, what what has been dubbed in other media as sex by surprise, where the woman, a man has sex with a woman with a deliberately tampered condom, or the woman, the man has sex with a woman while she's asleep when she didn't actually consent to it, or couldn't consent even, okay, even if she had sex with him when she, he was awake. 
Now, these are apparently crimes in, in Sweden. They're not crimes in some other countries, but in some countries that in Sweden they are. Now, one of our politicians, George Galloway, mocked this. And he, and he mocked the Swedish law and he thought that if a woman has sex with a man when he, she is awake, she will consent to having sex with the same man, uh, in his view, when she's asleep, providing, you know, it's not like years and years later after she's dumped him or something, you know? So he just basically laughed at this and said, look, you know, if she consented when she was awake, of course she'll consent when she's asleep. That was his view. Not my view, but his view. I don't agree, and I'll tell you why. It's quite possible that a woman could have sex with a man willingly, but then be disappointed. She didn't enjoy it, she didn't like it, but she doesn't want to hurt the guy's feelings. So instead, she just um, ignores him and, and just she just lets him carry on because she doesn't want to, you know, disappoint him, but she just doesn't enjoy it for whatever reason. I don't know, maybe his dick just isn't big enough for her. I don't know. Or some other stupid reason. I have no idea. Or maybe she just didn't like the way he did whatever he did or put her hands on I don't know but he just she just didn't want to hurt his feelings so she just went to sleep and then she may not want him to do it again but she doesn't want to hurt his feelings so she'll just think of a way of dumping him later after she's woken up or maybe she thinks she'll go to sleep wait for him to go to sleep wake up and disappear and have a one night stand um, so I do believe that it's quite possible a woman may consent when she's awake but not consent when she's asleep because she didn't like it but didn't want to hurt the guy's feelings but didn't want him to do it again so just because a woman consents to having sex with a man once doesn't mean she'll consent to having it sex with him again because she may just not like it or for whatever reason anyway because of this um, Julian Assange was arrested in Sweden and originally they let him go then they arrested him again um, and then they basically um, said um, that um, they were going to detain him, but um, they would let him out on bail. Apparently, a rich actress um, put up some money for his bail, and some other people did as well. But rather than actually stay in the country and face trial, he fled Sweden and went to Britain. Britain then was going to arrest him and send him back to Sweden. But the Ecuadorian government um, intervened and they offered him asylum in their embassy. So Julian Assange went to the Ecuadorian assembly, sorry, as embassy, and stayed there until yesterday. Okay. However, in, in recent years, there's been a new Ecuadorian president who I don't think likes Assange too much. And instead decided um, to... Um, First, say they would no longer offer him protection, but he could stay in the embassy for a while, but they just didn't necessarily want to protect him anymore. And then, yesterday, the Ecuadorian government gave permission for the British police to go into the Ecuadorian embassy and arrest Assange. Now, diplomatically, they needed the Ecuadorian um, government to uh, allow this, because although the um, Ecuadorian embassy is on British land, um, officially, um, the British government is not allowed to go into the Ecuadorian um, embassy and arrest anybody or remove them or do anything they, because they're allowed to have sanctuary in that area, even though it's within Britain. But they said that if Julian Assange originally ever stepped foot outside the embassy, he could be arrested. For many months before this, um, there was, a, for many months, um, um, a policeman that would stand outside the embassy just waiting for him to leave. After a while, the government said this is a waste of money paying a police officer to just stand there doing nothing all day. So instead, they removed the police officer that said, but if he ever leaves we'll get, and we find him, we'll arrest him. Well, anyway, Assange stayed in the embassy until yesterday when the Ecuadorian government themselves gave permission to, to the British government to go into the Ecuadorian embassy itself in, Brit in Britain and arrest him, which is what happened. Now, apparently, um, Assange faces um, deportation to America um, for his acts of, on WikiLeaks. Now, you might think, well, if he's an American citizen and he, and he broke their laws, surely he should be punished, maybe, or whatever, or tried at least. But no, he's actually an Australian citizen, so he's not even an American citizen. He wasn't even, I think, even in America when most of these leaks were done. He was somewhere else, probably, I've no idea where. So I don't think he personally was in, in America even when the leaks happened, but they, he, they, the claim is that he encouraged an American, um, Chelsea Bradley, I believe, 
sorry, Ch Chelsea or Bradley Manning. I say ch or because the guy I think was originally Bradley Manning and then he changed his gender, became a woman and then became Chelsea or something, if I remember rightly. But I know it's, his, the person's final name was Chelsea Manning, okay? And Chelsea Manning released some secrets to the world via WikiLeaks and was arrested for it and went to prison for it for a few years until um, Obama um, pardoned him or her, depending on your opinion, right, him or her, right, um, 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 for this, and then they were released, okay? But anyway, so the question is, should Assange go to America and stand trial in America for charges that he was responsible for leaking um, secrets in America when he didn't even sign the American official, uh, the American secret, you know, he didn't sign the American equivalent of the um, Official Secrets Act. I don't know what it's called in America. Over here in Britain, we have something called the Official Secrets Act, where if you work for the government, they make you sign a piece of paper and say, if you ever reveal any of our secrets, you will go to prison. Right? Um, and you, if you, if you, they cannot put you in prison for revealing secrets if you didn't personally sign that piece of paper yourself. But if you personally signed it, like I personally have done, myself personally, right, because I worked for the government in the past, then they can put you in prison for releasing government secrets, you know, um, without authorisation. I say without authorisation because obviously there are very rare times when government secrets are revealed to the public, officially. You know, like sometimes, for example, the government will decide to release, you know, documents from about 50 years ago because they think they're no longer relevant, or they might release, you know, once top secret documents about what happened, what the strategy was during World War Two, for example. But as the World War Two is, World War Two is now over, and it happened a long time ago, um, knowing that a Russian, knowing that a submarine was about to be in, deployed to a certain place, isn't um, what is what was at the time probably would have been an, a top secret because they wouldn't want the Germans, for example, to know that. Now they wouldn't care that the Germans knew that. I don't know. Over seventy years ago, um, you know, that's what happened. Nobody cares about it anymore because we're not currently at war with Germany anymore. Okay. So, often the government does officially release secrets from the past. But I'm talking about more recently when the government didn't want them released, okay? And so, releasing secrets without authorization is a crime, okay? If you work for the government, okay? In virtually any country, I would believe, right? So, anyway, should he be um, deported to America? In my opinion, no, because I don't think he's actually broken any laws within America, even if he's is encourage people to break the law. I don't think as, an, as he's not an American citizen, I don't see why he should be sent to America for it. But I do, but all, but I feel personally uncomfortable that he escaped justice in Sweden. Now, um, a few, I think months or years ago, I can't remember, the Swedish government gave up on trying to have him extradited back to Sweden for these crimes. They said, we've given up, we're not going to bother trying him anymore. Not because we've changed our mind, not because we think he's innocent, but apparently, um, it, it would take it. It had taken too long for them to arrest him, um, and because so many years had passed since when um, the alleged crime took place, um, they couldn't apparently charge him anymore with it. But he basically got away with escaping justice just by hiding in the Ecuadorian embassy regarding the Swedish case. Now I think that's wrong. I don't know whether he is innocent or guilty of what he was accused of in Sweden regarding these women. If he was guilty, he should be punished. If he was innocent, then obviously he shouldn't be. Um, and maybe that if it could be proven that the women had lied and there was actual evidence that the women had lied on this, then the women themselves should go to prison, I think. Right? If it could be proven that the women had knowingly lied. Okay? But um, if the men, if he... Um, did, 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 did deliberately break a condom before having sex with her without her permission, or did deliberately have sex with her without a condom uh, while she was asleep, when she'd made it clear when he was, she was awake that she did only want to have sex with him with a condom, then I do think she'd be punished for that as well. But um, regarding extradition to, to America, to my knowledge, he's not an American citizen, so I don't honestly know why he should be charged with it. You may not like what the guy did, but to my knowledge, he didn't actually break the law. He may have encouraged others to break the law, but, you know, he, from what I can understand, he encouraged others to break the law from outside America. So, you know, how far do you go? I mean, if 
For example, I told somebody in America to advise someone in America to do something which was against the law in America. And I didn't even know it was against the law in America. I just said, you know, why don't you, I don't know, buy a gun from, you know, this kind of store, which might be illegal, right? Or why don't you set up your own gun shop in a certain place? Now, that may, it may be illegal to do so. I may have even suggested something to somebody. But I, I may genuinely have been unaware that it's illegal to sell guns in America in a certain place, for example. I'm, I'm not an expert on American law, I don't know. There may be some things where, for example, I could say something even more innocent than that. I could say to, you know, somebody in America, you know, why don't you import, I don't know, black pudding into into America? Why don't... not knowing. and uh, Right? And it happens to be illegal to import black pudding, which is a British food, into America. Okay? It's against the law for some reason, right? So I might even do something innocent, not knowing it's illegal, and advise them to do something that happens to be illegal in America, which I don't even know is illegal. I wasn't even trying to get somebody to break the law. I just didn't know it was against the law in the first place. Right? How far do you go with this? Especially if somebody is not even an American citizen. I mean, I don't see why I should be deported to America for, for example, I haven't done anything, you know, but supposing I what I had, why, you know, I should, because I told somebody something in America, if I wasn't in America at the time, you know, how far do you go with this? Some people believe that the extradition won't happen to America, um, I think, um, you know, so I don't really know what's going to happen. Um, Julian Assange's attitude to all this is, I told you so, you guys didn't believe me when I said, um, it, I would be extradited to America if they arrested me. You thought I was just escaping a sex case, but in fact it was all about being put in prison in America. It's become a big political issue over here. Um, the leader of the opposition, who's generally, over here, is generally an anarchist rebel, left-winger, says that he supports Julian Assange and he doesn't want him to go be deported to America. Uh, the British government haven't got a clue what they're going to do about this at the moment. Um, on the one hand, they don't want to upset the relationship with America. On the other hand, Theresa May is well known for standing up for against Americans and others if she thinks it's the right thing to do, as she did when it was a, when, for example, um, she was the uh, in charge of um, the Home Office in Britain before she became Prime Minister, and the Americans wanted us. To to hand over an American a hacker, a supposed an alleged hacker to America, and basically Theresa May said, "Get lost, you're not having him." So she might say, "Get lost, you're not having Assange." I don't know. I feel in two minds on this. On the one hand, with Julian Assange, I believe even if you whether you agree with what he does regarding WikiLeaks or not, you could some might argue he's got a genuinely altruistic motive for doing this. Okay, and there will be others who claim that he was evil and should be punished because of what he what um because he escaped justice regarding the women. And so a lot of people will separate the two issues. They may be supportive of what he's done regarding WikiLeaks, but against how he reacted regarding this issue regarding the women. And they feel if he really did do what he was alleged to have done regarding the women, then he's a total scumbag who deserves to go to jail. And to some extent I believe that if he did do what he is alleged to have done with the women, he should go to jail. If he's in my opinion, I'm not. That may not be the law, but that's what I think should happen. On the other hand, regarding WikiLeaks, it's a contentious issue for some people. He is endangering national security worldwide. In some cases, they think he's biased, and that he is releasing, and that he's releasing things in a biased way. So, for example, um, so you'll only get the bad. Might one side will look bad, but another side won't look bad because he hasn't released anything from them. So you get an unbiased, an unbalanced, sorry, an unbalanced view that happens to be biased of the supposed wrongdoing of people. Okay. Um, if you don't know what I mean by that, for example, as I said during the um, election in America, WikiLeaks released um, bad things about um, Hillary Clinton, but didn't release bad things about. Donald Trump. Now, if WikiLeaks had found some dirt on Donald Trump and released it, the public may not have liked Donald Trump either. Instead, mo most of the dirt on WikiLeaks was about Clint Hillary Clinton because they had it, and so it's biased because you're only seeing the bad of one person but not the bad of the other person, okay? Which therefore can have its own consequences. So, some people think WikiLeaks is a good thing, some people think it's a bad thing, but I do not agree with, you know, what he allegedly did 
to the women if he genuinely did do it. Anyway, so as I said, at the moment he's been arrested and the government is deciding what to do over here. Will they send, will they send him to America or not? It's all being debated and as I said, this is current news which happened yesterday and it's more current than Brexit. I haven't followed very, the very latest up-to-date knowledge on this, but that's pretty much how I see it. Okay, so if you're wondering about what happened with Assange and things like that, that's my current understanding. But as I said, this news may already be out of date. I haven't looked at the news regarding this for about an hour or so, so I know what I found out last night. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. Bye.